Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. On this episode, I am going to construct a spoil board to put on my Bulkman 1510 CNC machine. The interesting thing about this uh, machine is it can't it comes set up for using Mach 3, which I own. It uh, I had the VFD with a spindle, and I found myself taking all my time to program this thing and trying to get it to run rather than building things. So I switched to the Open Builds Black Box software. A lot of people will say that uh, all that you should use is Mach 3. I guess that's a topic for a different time, but uh, I am really kind of digging the black box software and just having a spindle on there. So here, I'm trying to uh, engage the software and Windows is deciding to update and upgrade. Uh, you, I'm sure you've all been through that. Mind-numbingly frustrating. Okay, so I have to clean the garage out to get anything done. I uh, had to get a table for Thanksgiving because we're having a, about 10 people over. Just on a side note, my Durango bit the dust. It had 300,000 miles on it, 289,000. And uh, I mean, I ran it into the ground. It was a good car. But I purchased this, it's a, uh, it's a Hummer, and I'm having fun with that, so let's take a look at it. I had a pro, that's my company, and yeah, it looks good, I'm having fun with it, except filling it up. It does take some gas. Well, that didn't go as planned, but at least we got there. This is about half the weight of my spindle. 
At this point, the wind is so bad you can't hear what I'm saying. It's inaudible. Uh, I did order uh, another variable frequency drive and another spindle. I am not going to give up on Mach 3. I just think that it's just a pain in the ass to get right. So since this video, I went and screwed these up. Uh, boards down and the T-tracks down, it's working very, very well. Uh, one thing I can say is with the black box, it seems to let me just plug in play. If, uh, if anyone's interested in that, that's the way to go. Later.